Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial of WP Crack. The tutorial is sponsored by Variation Swatches for e-commerce plugin by Imran Ahmed. It has 1 lakh plus active installations and 5 star splitting. The plugin converts e-commerce variation select dropdown into color, image, button, and radio swatches. Find the plugin download link in the description box. To download more e-commerce plugin, please visit storepress.com. Today I'm going to show you how to translate flat sum theme with logo translate plugin. So without any further delay, let's get started. To translate your flat sum theme, you have to install logo translate plugin. From left sidebar settings, navigate to add new from plugins. Now search for logo translate and install it. Loco Translate is one of the most popular and essential plugins for translation. After completing the installation, activate it by clicking on Activate button. You'll notice a Loco Translate menu is already added in your WordPress dashboard. Now navigate to Themes. Select Flatsum Theme. Flatsum Theme comes with some default languages. If your desired language is available in this list, then select the language. Let's assume you want to choose German language, so click on German language. You can see in the source text, these are the available strings. Adding these strings one by one and saving them, you can see the changes in your website. What will you do if your desired language does not exist in this list? In this case, you can add that specific language. To do so, click on New Language. For demonstration purposes, I am going to choose Bengali language. Now you have to choose a location where you want to store the language file. Here, this location file is selected by default, so I am not going to change this one. Now click on Start Translating. Now I am going to add some strings from this list for translation. First, I will add follow on Facebook string. Let's add the Bengali translation of follow on Facebook from Google Translate. In the same process, I am going to add some few strings translations, such as follow on Instagram, follow on Pinterest, follow on Twitter, and finally contact you can see the translation of added strings are listed in the right side now click on save no need to do anything else to see the changes in your wordpress site you have to set your desired language to do so navigate to generate from settings from site language section, select that specific language that you previously used for translation. So I'm going to select Bangla. Now click on save changes. So previously these writings were in English. So after translation it should be changed into Bengali. So let's refresh the site. So you can see these writings are successfully changed into Bengali. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and stay connected. If you have any query, please write down in the comment section. Thank you.